Hi there, this is James from Junior Developer Central and I wanted to share with you today a quick tip on how to create arrays in JavaScript. In particular, it was multi-dimensional arrays. I came across a query in a forum the other day and I think it was someone from a Java or a C Sharp background asking how do I create multi-dimensional arrays in JavaScript because they just couldn't understand how, how it worked. So I wanted to share with you a little bit of code on how you would do that in case you're not familiar with it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just create a variable in this standard template that I have. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to create a variable called multi-dimensional array. Not very exciting, but it explains what it's doing. So with a normal array in JavaScript, you can use the square bracket notation to uh, create a blank array. Um, and then you can use index values to actually access the individual elements. So if you're coming from a different language or just thinking uh, logically, you might think, well, you can just put another pair of square brackets after that and you've got two indexes. But let's have a look at, at what happens when you try and do that. So for example, if I wanted to assign a value to my multi-dimensional array, I could then choose the zero index for both of the array elements. And maybe I'll just assign it a string in there. So uh, something like hello world. So we've got some value in there. And then when I wanted to use that, I could then just log that out uh, by accessing it again with the two index values. So if I save that and just load the page up and check our console to see what uh, the output actually is. And you can see we've actually got an error in here just saying that the uh, JavaScript has found an unexpected bracket token. And the reason for that is this syntax isn't valid in JavaScript. So um, what we actually have to do is take this blank array and actually put it inside of the existing blank array. So it's almost like saying, hey, I've got one blank array here that's got nothing in it, but I'm going to put inside it another array. And that gives you the multi-dimensional aspect. The rest of the code then is actually valid. So we can just access um, the individual elements of the array um, by using two sets of square brackets next to each other. So if I save that and refresh the page, I can now see that the hello world string has been assigned correctly. And then I can then access it with the again, the same syntax of the two index values. Uh, and you can actually keep going with that. You could put more arrays inside of there, although that might get a little bit confusing and probably not the best way to solve whatever problem you're trying to do with that. So that's basically it. That's how you create multi-dimensional arrays in JavaScript. Fairly simple, but it could be confusing uh, if you're coming from a different language. Um, that's it for now. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.